Hi, I'm Jim Pryor from Quiet Co. So today I want to talk about speakers on the wall, uh, TV on the wall, speakers on the floor, speakers on the ceiling. This is a very big problem for a lot of homes at the moment. They're neighbours, uh, neighbours on a separating property and they put a TV on the wall or they put speakers attached to the, uh, to the floor or the wall. Um, what do you do about it? The noise, you're probably hearing the noise in every room of your house. Okay, so, so if your neighbours have put the speakers on the floor or on the wall or they put the TV on the wall, you, the other side of the party wall, are probably hearing that noise in every room of your house. So what do you do? Okay, so the biggest mistake that people make is they think that they can put a, some sort of frame system or some sort of panel system on the separating party wall. And sometimes they put something on all of the party walls in all of the rooms. So they put something on all the rooms along the party wall thinking that they're going to completely barrier that noise. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. Now the noise is coming, if the noise, if it's from a speaker on the floor or a speaker uh, connected with a bracket on the wall or maybe a TV on the wall, that noise is, is being injected into the structure of the house. And therefore the noise is coming through the structure of the house, through the building. It's coming down all those flanking walls. So if you have a three bed semi-detached house, for example, it will be coming through that separating wall between the front and back bedroom. Maybe if you have a, a, a through lounge or an open plan lounge diner at the bottom, then it'll be coming down the window wall, up that, that patio door wall. If your wall, if your lounge and dining room is still separating, it'll be flanking up that wall, separating the two. Maybe you have doors between the um, separating the lounge and dining room. It'll be transmitting up there too. If you have a suspended floor void in, in on a semi-detached house, for example, that noise will be going down into that suspended floor void and then getting to every room in the house. And the same concept applies to the to the bedroom floor. That noise from the TV on a wall from your neighbours, for example, that noise is going into the structure and then it's going up the walls and it's going through the joists, okay? Now the good thing is there is a solution. Uh, you just have to treat all of the flanking areas, but you have to do it in a way that isolates those surfaces from the structure. So you're using products and systems that sound dead in the wall and isolate. So here at QuietCo, we have set products and systems designed specifically for this. Systems that both sound dead in the wall, isolate and decouple your joists from the structure. So if your neighbours have put a TV on the wall and you're thinking, oh no, how can I stop this noise? Yes, you can stop the noise. Get in touch, book a free noise diagnosis and we'll go through the whole thing with you. I'm Jim Pryor from QuietCo. I hope this little video has helped and look forward to speaking to you soon.